Disclaimer, all the character and incident are fictional, everything is imaginary in this FF, so don't compare with your life. It's just based on imagination, not on reality. You were sitting beside him on the couch. It was 11 p.m. There was a first night of yours after marriage with your CEO boss, who is now your husband. You blinked your eyes and you swallowed the pain in your throat. It's 11 p.m. You need to sleep now. He was expressionless and your hands trembled. Your hands slowly reached to his shirt. You went to help him to change his clothes, but your heartbeat stopped when he held your wrist. He pressed his lips together to clear his throat before saying anything. Ryan? He forwarded his hand to you. Before his t fingers touched your hairs, you held his hand. I'm here. Don't ruin your life for me. Why you were saying that? You tightened your grip on his hand. Cause now I'm just a burden and nothing else. You blink your eyes and your eyes become teary. I'm sorry. You couldn't control and started sobbing. I ruined your life. He shook his head. That was my fate. No, I ruined your life. He shook his head. I'm again saying that was my fate. No, I should have been more careful. You risk your life for me. That car hit you just because of me. You can't change the fact that you closed your eyes and because of me. Just exactly one month ago, something happened that changed his life. He was working late night and you stayed with him in his company because you were his secretary. But that night when he dropped you at your house... Flashback. He dropped you just near your house. You were walking. He smiled before he reversed his car. He saw a car coming towards your direction. Why, Yen? He called your name. Oh no. He opened the door of his car and rushed towards you. You heard his footsteps. You turned back. Sir, you got paused. You can't understand why he is running towards you. And your mind went frozen when he pushed you aside and you fell on the floor. Your eyes would have in that car. Jungkook. You sit alone. It was late night. Tears streaming down to your face. You were holding a tissue in your hand. He risked his life for me. I always pushed him away, but he risked his life for me. Why? Jungkook is not just your boss, but also your family friend. He lost his parents when he was a teenager. His father was your father's friend. He tells you his feelings for you many times, but you always pushed him away. You with your tears, I will never forgive myself if something happens to you. You bite your lips. Doctor walked out of the ICU and approached to you. You looked at him. How he is? He is out of danger, but he lost his eyesight. He got frozen on your spot. What? There is still a chance if he has surgeries and some eye exercise sessions, he might get his eyesight back. He had no one to take care of him. He had no one to run his company. He was helpless just because of me. So I decided to marry him. No, because I feel pity on him. Because I can't left him when he needs me the most. If I am alive, it's just because of him. Flashback ends. Back to the story. He pulled up your hand near his lips. He gently back on the back side of your hand. I wish I could rip your tears, Wayan. Think once again. Shut up, okay? You pulled your hand back. You unbutton his shirt and help him to change his clothes. Isse zyada mat chalana. Help him to change his clothes. 
mean just have him to change his clothes now you were laying beside him but at midnight your eyes opened because of a nightmare you were taking heavy breath thank god it was just a dream you turned on the on the other side and you got stunned after seeing him blinking his eyes for some seconds you thought he can see but he can't are you awake he hummed you can hear the sadness in his voice you Move closer to him. You placed your hand in his cheeks. Let's sleep. It's already midnight. Hmm. He again hummed and closed his eyes. And this time you cupped his face and pressed your lips against his. His eyes widened. You broke and whispered near his lips. Good night. His eyes widened. His heart was beating nonstop. He cleared his throat. When are you out of your mind? He always won't experience that moment, but not in this condition. You giggled. He got shocked when he heard you laughing. No, don't expect me to treat you like my boss, okay? He frowned his eyebrows. What do you mean? Don't behave like you didn't understand. You just wanted to distract him and you were successful. A smile appeared on his lips. I understand, but I can't believe. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to believe, but you have to cause I don't give you another any another option. You pulled blanket on him and just as you covered blanket on him, he wrapped his arm around you. At least now he was not upset, but looking at his eyes, it was hard for him to sleep. So you pulled your hand near his eyes and cover his eyes with your palms. Lion, you place your fingers on his lips. Now try to sleep. Like this. You hummed. But I need something else. You twisted your eyebrows when you saw a smirk on his lips. What? He hid his smile and shook his head. Um, nothing. Come on, tell me what you want. Nothing. Don't underestimate me, okay? He laughed. Bossy in the front of your boss. Wow. Yeah, so... And for your kind information, I'm being bossy around my husband. Do you have any problem? He chuckled. Not at all, madam. So tell me what you want. He won't. But, but he just changed the topic. A glass of water. Oh, okay. I bring a glass of water for you. Okay? You set up. You got up from the bed and went to the side table. You pick up a glass of water and went back to him. He sat up. You bring that glass near his lips. He drank the water. Thanks. He laughed. Why, an I'm fool. You have already fed me a lot. He leaned back to the chair. Don't cook. You didn't even finish that sandwich. Please, one more bite. You have to take your medicine. He shook his head. You put the sandwich back in his plate. You want me to stir? I have not eaten anything yet. He leaned off. When you said you already had your breakfast, I lied to you. Come on, Vyan. You clear your throat. Now finish your food. Without saying anything, he finished his sandwich and then take his medicine. Now eat your breakfast. And he heard you laughing. I already had my breakfast. His jarrob. You got up. He forward his hand, and when his hand reached to you, your wrist. He grabbed your wrist and pulled you to him. That made you fall on top of him. Your eyes were Jungkook. Now why you are shuddering? Everything feels unreal. My cheeks burn, and that. Thank God he can't see. He for fronted his eyebrows. He touched your coat. Why you are in office uniform? I'm going to close my company for some months. You don't have to. I have no one who can run my company. You wrapped your arm around his neck. 
you forget about me. He got paused, but he never wants to be a CEO. That's the reason you left your father's company and came to me. Yeah, but now I can't let you close your company. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. Okay then. And another second he pressed his lips on your cheeks and you laughed. Five months later, oh, please, you were running behind him. He was walking all around the house with, please, now nah. you held his hand and turned him to you. Don't cook. What sorry, please, huh? Why you can't understand the fact now I'm useless? I didn't want to go anywhere for any eye surgery. You left his hand. You rolled your eyes and looked away while wrapping your arm around your chest. Trust me, while I'm trying these surgeries and those eye exercises, but nothing worked. You already know. You didn't respond. Come here. He takes steps towards the upstairs. You immediately held his hand. I'm here. I didn't want to upset you, but... Fine, it's the last time I'm listening to you, okay? You quickly looked up at him, and I'm sure after this surgery, your eyes had came back. You married him because he saved you. You had no feelings for him on that time, but as compared to now, now I love being with him. I love to spend time with him, holding his hand, reading books for him, talking with him. All these things make me feel happy, just as seeing him smiling makes me happy. Now happy, you hummed. Thank God. You took all and hugged him. One week later, he was holding your hand. Now I have to go. Don't be nervous, okay? He left your hand. He was sitting on the edge of the bed. I am nervous. He took a deep breath. It's okay. It's not a big deal, hmm? Nervous nurse enter. It's almost time, Mr. John Dungkook. Are you ready? Yeah, he's ready. But then you rushed back to him. You kissed on the forehead, on his forehead. I love you, okay? He got frozen. There was an unexpected thing on an unexpected time. You have to win, okay? You peck on his lips one last time, then you rushed out. It's been three days to his eye surgery. He was laying on the bed. Doctor changed his room because now he was looking relaxed because of Ryan. Because you were holding his hand, taking, talking with him. Doctor entered. It's time for us to remove the bandage. You called. Doctor walked to him and sat. And he sat up. He took off without even seeing your face. He spoke. He looked nervous more than me. He tightened the grip on your hand. Fine, I'm fine, and everything will be fine. You bite to your lips, tears streaming down from your eyes. Doctor began to unwrap the bandage, and as he finished, Jungkook slowly opened his eyes. Jungkook, I, I, he turned his face to you. He wanna say I can see everything, but he said, Why, him? Why you are crying? He didn't even reply to the doctor and wiped your tears with his fingers. You quickly shifted your theory gaze to him i can see are you serious he nodded doctor take a deep breath of satisfaction you immediately hugged him i want to hear that again what you broke the hug you confessed something three days ago And the end, name because they're the end. Tada! Bye bye. Take care. See you. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you need bonus, then comment in the comment section.